factor then check so we have two questions here to practice part a is 16x minus 20y and b is 12a square minus 15a to factor we need to find the greatest common factor between the two terms now between 16 and 20 you can write down the factors for 16 and 20 and figure out what is the greatest common factor well 16 could be written as 4 times 4 and then we have x minus 20 could be written as 4 times 5 and then we have y as you can see 4 is the common factor the greatest common factor right so we can factor out 4 if we do that we are left with 4x minus 5y so that becomes the factored form of the given expression now as a quick reminder to find the common factors rather the greatest common factor we may need to do prime factorization of the term so for 16 we could write this as 4 times 4 which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 right and for 20 we could write this as 4 times 5 now okay so 4 is 2 times 2 so the prime factors for 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and that for 20 are 2 times 2 times 5 so as you can see here the common factors between 16 and 20 are 2's 2 set of 2's that means 4 when you multiply them correct so that is what you may do at times to figure out the greatest common factor now these two are common factors when you multiply them that is 2 times 2 you get 4 so 4 becomes the greatest common factor right so so we can see that part here right 4 becomes the greatest common factor so that's the way to do it now I've, you can see my videos on how to find greatest common factor and that will help you to understand this process but once you know this then we can straight away factorize right so I'm adding few terms here so that we understand this better so we have 12 a squared minus 15 a let us see how to factor them so let's find out factors for 12 so factors for 12 are if we do prime factorization so we get what we get 12 as 6 times 2 and 6 is 2 times 3 correct so we can write down factors for 12 as 2 times 2 times 3 now similarly factors for 15 are 5 times 3 right so factors for 15 are we can write 3 times 5 if you see these two list of factors the common factors between 12 and 15 are indeed 3 right so so the approach to solve this is write the expression in its factored form so 12 a square minus 15 a could be written as 3 times 4 a square minus 15 could be written as 3 times 5 and then we have a do you see that so that becomes an expression which is same as the given expression right now from here you can see that 3 and 3 is common that is one part so we can say 3 and then a is also a common factor so we can factor out a also if you factor out a you are left with 4a here right 4a minus you are left with just the number 5 since you factored out 3 and a right just the number 5 so that becomes the product form right so let me tell you once again how I did it 12 would be written as 3 times 4 and then a square means a times a right minus 15 is 3 times 5 and then we have a is it okay so as you can see from here the common factors are 3 right and one of the a's so that we factored out 3a what we are left with 4a minus 5 you see that so that is how you find the factors now let us see how to check it to check means to multiply apply the distributive property so to factorize means to write the sum or difference form of an expression as a product form 
to check means to apply distributive property and write the product form as sum or difference, right? So 3 times 4 is 12. A times A is A square. So that's the first term. The second term will be 5 times 3 is 15. And then we have A, right? Which is the original expression. Now as an exercise, what you can do is, you should also check whether 4 times 4x minus 5y is indeed equals to 16x minus 20y or not. Okay, So apply the distributive property and check your answer. Thank you and all the best.